Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected, Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys, welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. So, I hope everybody's doing good. Happy Friday. So I've been taking a break off the internet. Um, I need to just, you know, I need to take a break from my own mental. Um, so I wanted to come on here and just do a, a short podcast about the whole Naya Rivera situation. Um, I didn't know about this until the other day. I had been gone off of Instagram all day. And I had finally posted something. And somebody was like, hey, did you hear about Naya Rivera? She's missing. And I hadn't heard anything at that point. So I went to go research. And at that point, people were looking for her. Um, they had found her son on a boat by himself with the life vest on. And she was nowhere to be found. So, you know, I thought, okay, well, hopefully she'll be found in the morning. And so what ended up happening is that the next day came out that she was officially missing and they were trying to do a, you know, a search and rescue. Now, what's so interesting about the whole Naya Rivera situation is that um, Naya has been through a lot over the years. Um, we all know that we watched her ups and downs. She's most known from being on the show Glee. But right before she went missing, she made a post on um, Instagram and on that post, it says just the two of us, basically a picture of her and her son. And at that time, nobody thought nothing big of it. Um, it seems sweet. But now there's a lot of things that are just coming to the forefront. And I'll get into that a little bit later. So basically right now they've announced on twitter she's trending number one that this has turned from a search and rescue mission into a recovery mission they're saying that they're hoping they can find her body but that uh lake pyru in cali where she went um boating um it's a very dark murky lake there's a lot of trees and underbush and so sometimes when people drown or go missing it's very hard to recover the body because sometimes the bodies get entangled in that lake the child told them that he and his mother had been swimming but it's unclear exactly what happened after rivera got in the water he told us that he was he was put back on the boat by his mother authorities say rivera is familiar with lake piru and has been coming here for years they say they face challenges in their search of the vast lake because of the wind and conditions underwater the lake does vary in depth um, so it goes from 40 feet to, to five, six feet. I was on a boat last night out here at the lake, and, and our depth finder was going crazy with depth. So, I mean, there's a lot of debris in the bottom of the lake. There's trees in the bottom of the lake, and um, there's a dam here, too. So there's a lot of little factors that play into Lake Piru. Lake Piru is known to have rip currents as well as cold and deep waters. Authorities say there have been drownings here in the past. They now presume Rivera suffered the same fate. Just a couple of days ago, the actress posted a picture of her and her son on social media, captioned, just the two of us. The goal is still to bring Miss Rivera home to her family. So this whole situation is just really, really unnerving. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys um, this newscast from E! News. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Tragedy has once again struck the cast of Glee. Naya Rivera is presumed dead after a mishap at a lake outside of Los Angeles. We have exclusive new reporting on what was supposed to be a pleasant afternoon out with her son that went tragically wrong. We're going on the belief that she did go in the water. We have both aerial search going on and our dive team out here as well, and we have not been able to locate her, so um, this may well be a case of drowning. You know, I'm a mom now, and I, you know what I love more than acting is being Josie's mom. So I want to be here for him. Naya, who starred in six seasons of Glee. I think that the buzz that we've gotten is really positive. Grew up about 20 miles from Lake Piru, where search teams spent the day looking for leads to her disappearance. An eyewitness tells ET they saw Naya arrive with her son yesterday at about 1 p.m. And approximately three hours after they left the dock, another boater out on the lake discovered the boat drifting, and we've been actively searching for the mother. The four-year-old told authorities his mother went in the water for a swim but never returned. Her last Instagram post was this image with Josie from her marriage with actor Ryan Dorsey. I feel like you're holding back. 
Naya was recently working on the Step Up spin-off series, which was picked up by stars following two seasons on YouTube. But she, of course, is best known for her role as cheerleader Santana Lopez. When you went for the audition for Glee, you were ready to give up on acting? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I mean, I I reached a point where I was like, I have to go to college and like try to get a real job. And then my mom was the one that was like, just give it six months. We only said goodbye with In March, Naya shared this pic and the quote, gravity keeps pulling me under, but the urge to breathe helps me stay afloat. And a week ago today, this heartbreaking post, quote, Make the most of today and every day you are given. Tomorrow is not promised. It's been a long, cold, lonely winter. It seems like that you really are in a very good place. Yeah. You love being a mommy. Oh my gosh, yes. What's the greatest thing about being it's a mom? Everything. I mean, absolutely everything. You know, they're, they're, it's very early mornings, but I am so excited every morning. And he always greets me with a smile. And it's just so amazing to see. Amid the news still coming in about Naya, we are reminded of all the hardships that have hit the Glee cast. When I got the call about Corey, it was just like, your like, world stops and you kind of black out for a minute. But that was just a dream. July 2013, Corey Monteith was found dead in this hotel room in Canada after an accidental heroin and alcohol overdose. Girlfriend Leah Michelle, along with the rest of the cast, was devastated, especially since Corey had recently completed a detox program. This is my humble abode in Los Angeles, California. There's the indoor bar and there's the outdoor bar. You know what's funny is um, I don't even drink. Here we go now. Then in 2012, Heather Morris was the victim of a nude photo leak. Tomorrow marks the six-year anniversary of the death of Becca Tobin's boyfriend, Matt Bendick, who, like Corey Monteith, was also found dead in his hotel room. A cause of death was never made public. You say you're tired and you just want to close your eyes. 2018, the body of Naya Rivera's ex, Mark Salling, was pulled from a remote area north of L.A. after he committed suicide. The 35-year-old was awaiting sentencing in a child pornography case, which could have sent him to prison for four to seven years. In 2016, Naya told us she wasn't shocked by his arrest. He always was a very dark soul to me, and I always felt like, you know, just from knowing him, so well, I guess, uh, for the on and off three years. I just always felt like there was something that he was wrestling with. <laughs> You're a legend. Oh, well, that's not the general opinion these days, but thank you. And most recently, last month, Leah Michelle had to apologize after major backlash involving her co-star. I am not going to say that Leah Michelle is racist. Some cast members spoke out after Leah supported the Black Lives Matter movement, only to have co-star Samantha Marie Ware fire back in a tweet, quote, I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would bleep in my wig. You did document a couple times where you felt like she was unprofessional. Definitely. On the set. Definitely. Naya's always been open about her struggles. In November of 2017, she was arrested for domestic battery after allegedly attacking then estranged husband Ryan in the presence of their son, who was just two at the time. The charge was dismissed and her divorce was finalized seven months later. Every path and every uh, mistake and up and down and in between in my entire life, I feel like it's already been, you know, planned out for me. Of course, our thoughts and prayers go out to Naya's friends and family and hopefully they can wrap their arms around that little boy because he will need it in the coming days, months, and years. Okay, so you guys just heard what E! News had to say about the situation. And there's a lot of crazy stuff that has gone on with the cast members on the set of Glee. A lot of people have been saying that the whole Glee set is cursed because it's always a bunch of crazy mishaps and deaths that have happened around this show. Now, I want you guys to also go ahead and listen to the 911 call. And I'm also going to play you guys a video of Naya Rivera with her son. Um, and the way that she's parked is kind of disturbing. And her demeanor is kind of hurried. Like she has to get somewhere. Like she has to, you know, like she's being called to go do something. So I want you guys to check out both of these footages. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary.
July 8, 2020, 16, 37, 35. 911, that's on for the airport. Uh, Lake Piru, um, the emergency is we have a missing person. We found a little girl in one of the boats by herself, and her mom is nowhere to be found. Okay, Lake Piru, and she is a, is she white, black, Asian, Hispanic? I have no idea. I'm heading down there right now to go check. My husband um, was one of the people that was first there, and I'm going to go find out more information. He just told me to call it in. Okay. Uh, do we know if it's a boy or girl? I think it's believe it was a little girl. Okay. Approximate age? I have, like I said, I have no idea. I'm heading down there right now. <clears throat> you want me to call it back when I get there? Yeah, I'll put a, I'll put the little bit of information that I have, and then yeah, I just. All right, so you guys just saw the video, and you guys just heard the nine one one call. What's up? <laughs> Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.